In the vast tapestry of Hindu mythology, Lord Vishnu stands as the preserver, the protector of cosmic order. He is one of the principal deities in the Hindu trinity, alongside Brahma the creator and Shiva the destroyer. Central to Vishnu's role are his avatars, divine incarnations that restore balance and righteousness. The first avatar of Vishnu, Matsya, emerges from the primordial waters as a giant fish. This story, recounted in the ancient scriptures known as the Puranas, speaks of a time when the world was submerged in a catastrophic flood. The deluge threatened to wipe out all life and even wash away the sacred Vedas, the ancient Hindu scriptures. To save creation from annihilation, Vishnu took the form of Matsya. Matsya warned the pious king Satyavrata, a devotee of Vishnu, about the impending flood and instructed him to gather the seeds of all living creatures and the Vedas. As the waters rose, Matsya guided Satyavrata's boat to safety, ensuring the continuation of life and knowledge. The story of Matsya highlights the cyclical nature of time in Hindu cosmology, where creation and destruction are recurring events. It also emphasizes the importance of preserving knowledge and the power of devotion. The second avatar, Kerma, takes the form of a giant tortoise. During the churning of the cosmic ocean, Samudra Manthan, the gods and demons, sought the elixir of life, Amrita. Mount Mandara was used as the churning rod and the serpent king Vasuki as the rope. Vishnu, as Kurma, supported the mountain, allowing the churning to continue. Kurma endured the weight, enabling the gods to obtain Amrita. The story signifies patience, resilience and balance. The third avatar, Varaha, takes the form of a colossal boar. This story is a testament to Vishnu's power and his role as the protector of the earth. It is said that a powerful demon named Hiranyaksha dragged the earth to the bottom of the cosmic ocean. To rescue the earth and its inhabitants, Vishnu took the form of Varaha. Varaha plunged into the ocean, fought a fierce battle with Hiranyaksha and ultimately slew the demon. He then gently lifted the earth on his tusks and restored it to its rightful place in the cosmos. The story of Varaha is a powerful metaphor for the victory of good over evil and the importance of protecting the natural world. It also highlights Vishnu's boundless strength and his unwavering commitment to preserving creation. The fourth avatar, Narasimha, is a fearsome half-man, half-lion form. This avatar represents Vishnu's wrath and his protection of devotees. The demon king, Hiranyakashipu, obtained a boon making him invincible. He could not be killed by man or beast, inside or outside, day or night. Drunk with power, he terrorized the world and his son, Pralada. Vishnu took the form of Narasimha to protect Pralada. At twilight, Narasimha appeared with a terrifying roar. He disemboweled Hiranyakashipu, circumventing the boon. The story reminds us that even invincible evil can be defeated. It emphasizes faith and devotion to Vishnu. The fifth avatar, Vamana, takes the form of a dwarf Brahmin. This avatar highlights Vishnu's intelligence and his ability to outwit adversaries. The story revolves around the demon King Bali, who conquered all three worlds. Vishnu, as Vamana, approached Bali, asking for a donation of land. Bali, known for his generosity, agreed. Vamana then grew enormous, covering the heavens and earth in two steps. With his third step, he pushed Bali to the underworld. This story showcases Vishnu's cunning and the restoration of cosmic order. The sixth avatar, Parashurama, is a fierce warrior sage, known for his mastery of the axe. This avatar represents Vishnu's role in eliminating tyranny and restoring righteousness even if it requires resorting to violence. The story of Parashurama is set in a time when the Kshatriya kings, the warrior caste, had become arrogant and oppressive, exploiting their power and neglecting their duties. To restore balance, Vishnu took the form of Parashurama, who was born into a Brahmin family but possessed exceptional martial skills. Parashurama waged a relentless war against the tyrannical kings, ridding the earth of their wickedness 21 times. He then donated the land he had conquered to the Brahmins, signifying the restoration of Dharma, the cosmic order. The story of Parashurama 
highlights the cyclical nature of history, where power corrupts and intervention becomes necessary to restore balance. It also raises complex questions about violence, duty and the responsibility of power. The seventh avatar, Rama, is the protagonist of the epic Ramayana, one of the most beloved and influential texts in Hinduism. Rama is considered the embodiment of Dharma, the ideal man and the perfect king. The Ramayana narrates the life and adventures of Rama, the prince of Ayodhya, who is unjustly exiled from his kingdom. Accompanied by his devoted wife Sita and his loyal brother Lakshmana, Rama faces numerous trials and tribulations. Rama's story is a testament to his unwavering adherence to Dharma, his courage, compassion and his sense of justice. He ultimately defeats the demon king Ravana, who had abducted Sita, and returns to Ayodhya to rule as a wise and benevolent king. The story of Rama has had a profound impact on Indian culture and spirituality, inspiring generations with its timeless themes of love, duty, sacrifice and the triumph of good over evil. The eighth avatar, Krishna, is a complex and multifaceted deity, revered as a divine statesman, a playful trickster, a compassionate teacher, and a supreme being in his own right. He plays a pivotal role in the epic Mahabharata, another cornerstone of Hindu literature. Krishna is born into a world riddled with conflict and injustice. He uses his intelligence, charisma and divine powers to guide the Pandava princes in their struggle against their cousins, the Kauravas, culminating in the epic battle of Kurukshetra. Krishna's teachings, particularly the Bhagavad Gita, a philosophical dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna, one of the Pandava brothers, have had a profound impact on Hindu thought and spirituality. Krishna's message emphasizes the importance of dharma, selfless action, devotion, and the pursuit of spiritual liberation. The story of Krishna is a tapestry of wisdom, action, and devotion, offering profound insights into human nature, the complexities of life, and the path to spiritual enlightenment. The ninth avatar, Buddha, is a unique inclusion in the Dashavatara, representing the historical figure of Siddhartha Gautama, the founder of Buddhism. This inclusion reflects the syncretic nature of Hinduism, its ability to accommodate diverse beliefs and philosophies. Buddha, born into a royal family, renounced his worldly possessions and embarked on a spiritual quest to seek enlightenment. He attained enlightenment through meditation and self-realization, becoming the Buddha, the awakened one. Buddha's teachings, centered around the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, emphasize the impermanence of all things, the universality of suffering and the path to liberation from suffering through ethical conduct, mental discipline and wisdom. The inclusion of Buddha in the Dashavatara reflects the Hindu belief in the validity of multiple paths to spiritual liberation and the importance of compassion and non-violence. The tenth and final avatar, Kalki, is yet to come. He is the harbinger of a new era, a divine warrior who will appear at the end of Kali Yuga, the current age characterized by strife, ignorance and spiritual darkness. Kalki is often depicted riding a white horse, wielding a flaming sword and radiating divine light. He will vanquish evil, restore righteousness and usher in a new era of peace and prosperity known as Satya Yuga, the Golden Age. The prophecy of Kalki serves as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope remains. It reinforces the cyclical nature of time in Hindu cosmology, where destruction is always followed by creation and darkness gives way to light. The ten avatars of Vishnu represent a fascinating tapestry of mythology, philosophy and ethics. Each avatar embodies specific virtues, confronts unique challenges and teaches valuable lessons. They reflect the evolving concerns of humanity and the universe, offering guidance and inspiration across generations. The Dashavatara is not merely a collection of stories, it is a profound expression of Hindu cosmology, ethics and spirituality. It underscores the cyclical nature of time, the eternal battle between good and evil and the importance of Dharma. These stories continue to resonate with millions, offering solace, guidance and a sense of hope. 
They remind us that even in the face of adversity, divine intervention is always possible, and the forces of good will ultimately prevail. The avatars of Vishnu serve as eternal reminders of the enduring power of faith, the importance of righteousness, and the cyclical nature of life, death, and renewal.